Welcome back to Best Easy Minecraft Farms, where we go over the easiest but most efficient farms in Minecraft. In this one, we're going to be going over this iron farm right here that I took from a Techman 88 design and modified for my own needs. This farm produces over 1,000 items per hour. This is what this farm produces, which is 860 iron ingots and 214 poppies in one hour. In this video, we're going to be going over briefly the mechanics that make this iron farm work. We're going to be going over materials list so that you guys know exactly what you need to make this farm. And then we're going to be building this block by block so that you guys can build this in your own world. In order to get a super efficient iron farm, you need these guys right here to each have pathfinding to each of these beds so that they can claim the beds. You need them to be scared by a zombie or some other kind of scare some of the time, but not all the time. And then you need a spawning platform for the iron golem. You also need a killing mechanism that is far enough away from the villager pod to where they get out of range and then the villagers can no longer sense these guys so that you will get max rates on the iron golem spawning up above. I put a lot of time and effort into my videos. I would really appreciate it if you left a subscribe. It's free, it takes about two seconds and you can always unsubscribe later if you really want. You can play on a server with me and the rest of the patrons and receive some other really cool benefits by becoming a Patreon today. Here is everything you need to make this farm. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna pretend like this is ground level. So we're gonna pretend like this is a ground level right here and this is where we wanna make this first module for the villagers. And we're gonna build up 20 blocks. So build up 20 blocks until you get this block right here. Now we're gonna base everything else in the farm around this one block right here where the villagers are going to stand. So this is the 20th block off the ground and then what we're going to do is we're gonna put down the beds just like this and we want the pillows facing this way as well. So do make sure that you place them this way. And then in the back here, what we're gonna do is build up two blocks just like that. And then we can take out all of these blocks that we don't need. All we need is that block where the villager is gonna stand and then two blocks up like that. Then what we're gonna do is put carpet on top of that block right there. We're gonna put some trap doors on the top half of the second block right there. And then we're gonna cover all these beds with trap doors just like this. And then we can go ahead and take away these trap doors. So it looks like this. And then we're gonna wanna get villagers in here. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and put carpet on top of these so that the iron golem cannot spawn on those. If you don't put that carpet there, then iron golems will spawn there. And then what we're gonna need to do is get villagers into this spot right here. And I would recommend using either their pathfinding and make a staircase all the way up here so that they can pathfind to these beds and they'll automatically just walk up that. Or you can also use mine carts and just get them up here and then just kind of shove them into this little containment pod like there. Or you can go ahead and use a minecart and get them up here and shove them into this little villager pod. But yeah, we do need three villagers up there. And once we have them up there, then this pod is essentially all done and dusted. Once we have the villager pod, what we need to do is go one under the villager pod and then count one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, we're going to put down the soul sand. And then this is going to be where we're actually containing the zombie in here like that. So build up all these walls too high and then we can go ahead and take away all these temporary blocks once it looks like this then you can put slabs on top of those right there you can go ahead and put carpet on top of the sides just like that once the zombie containment cell looks like this what we need to do is get a zombie in there and what we can do is either we can have them pathfind up to you and use trap doors that make them fall in here or again you can use a minecart just make sure that you do it at night or you make sure there's a roof over him so he doesn't burn up in daylight but once we have a zombie in here, what we need to do is go ahead and put water down right there so that he's bobbing up and down. And then we can put a block on the side of this and then we can go ahead and put a top half slab on top of this block right here. Now that's gonna make it so that he can't escape, but he's bobbing up and down and the villagers will be able to see him. Now, if you wanna make this farm turn on and off, what you need to do is build up two blocks uh, go ahead and get rid of that middle block. Then we can put a piston facing downwards on this block right here. Put a lever on the side and then put carpet on top. Now, if you want to turn it off, all you have to do is flick that lever and then the villagers won't see the zombie and they'll stop producing iron golems because they won't be scared anymore. And then turn it back on. All you have to do is switch the lever and let him bob up and down so that the villagers can see him. This is a quick vibe check. Let me know how hard you're vibing down in the comments below. And if you're vibing hard, make sure you leave a like and subscribe so you can join the Dusty Tribe. Cool, let's get back into the video.
Next, we're going to make the spawnable area for the iron golem. And what we're going to do is build one on top of this carpet right here and then count one, two, three. That's going to be the start of the spawning platform. Then we're going to count out one, two, three on each sides so that it's a total of seven long. And then we want it to be five uh, width. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all the way so that we have a five by seven platform ready to spawn iron golems on it. Once we have this all here, we need to build up a glass wall that is three high on this side that goes all the way across the back of the spawning platform. And we want to use a glass wall for this so that we can see in there, but the iron golem won't be able to see the zombie and try and walk this way. Next, we're going to want to put walls up um, along the sides of here so that the iron golem won't be able to drop off the sides. So just go ahead and put walls all the way across like that. And these can be whatever type of walls you want to use. Next, we're going to want to put fence gates across the back of the spawning platform just like this and make sure that these are open. This way, water won't be able to fall off the edge of the spawning platform, but the iron golem will be able to go through it. Next, we're going to want to make sure that the iron golems fall far enough away so that these villagers will no longer be able to track that there's an iron golem nearby. This is going to help with the efficiency of the farm. So what you're going to do is count down 24 from this block right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 23 and 24. So that's the 24th block. And then you want to count 1, 2, 3. And then from here, you can go ahead and get rid of these. We're going to have to delete all those later and go 1, 2 and then one, two. So it's gonna be a five by three area for all the iron golems to land on. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and put these walls all the way around the outside. I don't like putting them in the corner just cause I think it looks a little bit nicer without the walls in the corner like this. So let's go ahead and surround the area where they're gonna fall on with these walls. Next, we're gonna put the collection system two away from the wall, so just like this. Then we're gonna have a hopper facing into that. We're gonna get rid of that block right there, put another hopper, and then a couple more hoppers on this outside just so that we don't lose any of the drops um, from the water stream pushing them off the edge. Then we wanna build up these walls too, just like that. And we need to put glass panes on the uh, top right here. Um, if you don't use glass panes, the iron golems will get stuck and not burn up. So do make sure that these are glass panes right there. But we put it all up like that and then we can put signs to, so that we can make this lava blade and then put the lava blade in the corner. And then once we have all that, then we can put this water so that they all get pushed into that lava blade and eventually die and all of their drops will end up in this chest down here. You want to make sure that you build this spawning platform exactly where we did in this video and this platform down here exactly where we did in this video because if you don't you will not get the efficiency that i am getting from this design these are exact places and we've built it just like this so that you can get max efficiency but anyways once you've built all this what you're going to do is mirror it onto the other side so just make the same exact thing just mirrored on the other side and then you're all done that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoy your iron and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye